Okay, hi everybody, Lucian Maverick here. So I wanna share with you something I just came across on my Facebook page <laughs> because this this just pisses me off. I know I do this as Google Hangouts, which it's because I'm poor and my laptop actually does this shit. And yeah, so that's why I do that. So for people who ever wonder, do it like I schedule this shit? Nope, I just do this off the cuff and then post it to my page for the viewership I don't have because I'm cool like that. And you all, the nobody who's watching this know that. Anyway, I want to show this to you all because it seems that TriStar Pictures has decided to gang rape David Bowie's corpse. Does that sound like hyperbole? Well, let's find out. Here, let me show this to all of you because it's fucking amazing. TriStar Pictures and Jim Henson Company to produce reboot of 1986 film Labyrinth. You know, that awesome movie with David Bowie. And it's going to be written by one of the people who wrote Guardians of the Galaxy. God damn it. Is nothing sacred to people? I don't know how many of you remember this, but um, after the uh, after Robin Williams died, word got out that uh, they were planning to do a reboot of Jumanji, and I had the same reaction. Why can't we just let people's legacy just die with them? Let let their legacy stand as or okay, that's a bad way to put it. Let their legacy stand as a way for us to know who they were when they were alive. You know, a way for their life and the life they led to mean something. Because this is one of the first things when David Bowie died that everyone said they remembered him for was Labyrinth. He was in this movie and it was a it was a good movie. I mean, a lot of people, there have been some like arguments uh, about that other film, uh, Dark Crystal, I think it was called. And I've gotten into some pretty interesting arguments about which film was better, but <sighs> oh my God, uh, garage be praised, people. It, it's not enough for films that a person is remembered for that were very good, and it was very good. Bowie's role was kind of ridiculous, but the whole film was ridiculous, and that was fine, and we were cool with that, and everyone was having a good time, enjoying themselves. But now we have to remake it. And, of course, the thing that Labyrinth was famous for, the use of Jim Henson's amazing puppets and having this really interesting world that integrated that so seamlessly, what is this new film going to be? You already know. It's going to be a fucking CG mess just like Jumanji reboot will be if that's still going to be a thing. I'm not sure. I bitched in my review of Jurassic World about how practical effects are pretty much dead at this point, but fucking... Why do we have to take films that were known for their amazing practical effects and then do this to them, just turn them into CG monsters? We've done it time and time again. There, I remember reading there was talk about a Gremlins reboot. Well, we're going to see a shit ton of CG with that too. I remember uh, talk about a uh, fucking... The thing about the Jumanji thing. And of course, with Jumanji, that is more I want to preserve that just because of, it was in the years when Robin Williams was really at the top of his game. He did a great job in that film. The CG in that film was ridiculous. But they still mixed in practical effects. They knew that the CG looked absolutely absurd, so they made sure to have enough practical effects to be able to make the world come to life in its own way. The, the scene where the lion is getting down on the fucking piano is absolutely just terrifying. And you have, now we're going to take that and we're going to rob it of all its majesty. We're going to rob it of Robin Williams' fantastic performance because he can't give a fantastic performance. 
and we're going to turn it into just another CG spectacle, which is what we're going to do with Labyrinth. A legacy is important when we're thinking about the great things that the great people who've come and gone left behind. Yeah, a lot of Robin Williams' later films were absolute piles of shit, but he stills made great movies. Do you want a remake of Hook? Do you want a remake of fucking... So many movies and all these other forms of media that people want to take from those who made great legacies and twist it into something where they can repackage it and sell it to the American audience who apparently does want nothing but nostalgia shoved down their throat. I mean, after all, people watch the new fucking Star Wars, which is pretty much just the old one all over again. I guess people maybe do just want the same fucking shit over and over again. But for the love of Grodge, can you leave Labyrinth alone, please? My name is Lucian Maverick. Peace out. May God be less.